track not clear. IBS Kelso, what up in this John? Before you adjust your brightness, change your freaking monitor settings. Yes, I am black and I am playing a dirt bike game. Hope you guys been enjoying yourselves, man. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get right into it, man. This is what 200 hours of MX bikes looks like. And uh, let me just say these JV tracks have been working wonders. If you haven't been able to pick up a JV track for yourself, dude, head over to MX Bike Shop. It'll be down in the description below. Just get, pick one of these bad boys up, dude. They definitely help you out, man. I mean, get yourself off of the Papiti servers for a little bit, especially if you're new to the game. That's really where you're going to thrive, get as much as you can out of the game. But these JV tracks, man, besides the TFC, I just can't ride them. I'm going to be honest. If anybody knows about the TFC tracks, they're basically what motocross is in IRL right now. The actual, like, in-game tracks. Um, I personally just can't ride them yet. I think it's just rider error. Maybe I just I just can't get the feel of the, uh, how should I say, the bumps at anything. Like, I literally can't get through a section without falling. But I come on here, it's a little bit more challenging. It's a whole new life. But I get these freaking bumps down packed. Like, not the best, obviously. <laughs> I'm no running over here, freaking skills race, but. Oh! Kobe! Oh! I'm not running a skills lap or anything like that, but, you know, it definitely. Definitely is like the same kind of roughness that you really want to get used to. And I definitely recommend if you are new to MX Bikes, uh, after you get some pip. <laughs> After you get some Papiti life in you, yes, for sure. Um, I am currently on the Honda 250R. Um, especially recommend two hours under. Definitely don't even try going for the 450. I, I say definitely play around with it. Get the fill, but it's just a lot of power. You know, I'm, I'm not even ready for it, really, to be honest with you. I do it ever so often when the boys want to do it. Um, but I think the Honda 250R is probably the most power you need that you're going to want to think about getting to a 450 probably the best 250 out this is currently mxgp argentina definitely recommend this track is so flowy dude i love it honestly i've been grinding this one out in turkey i'll go ahead and show that one next just wanted to lay down a few laps of this kind of show you my progress of being only at 200 200 freaking hours and being able to ride these jv tracks man they are they're, they're pretty they're not the difficult like the most difficult but you know, you can definitely feel the brunt bumps. As you can see, I still have problems. But it's nothing like working out the kinks, you know, and getting better, man. At least spending a good hour, maybe 30 minutes, if anything, on these tracks, you know, at least until you want to go back to your Papiti stuff. It'll definitely get you a little more prepped for what is to come in MX Bikes life. Ooh. Oh. Oh. If you haven't been watching any of my streams lately, be sure to put on those notifications, subscribe, like. I do do streams for uh giving away five tracks a stream i've only been able to do it once or twice um hopefully you guys tune in for that um i do usually give away tracks that are all through mx bike shop i'm able to just transfer the currency over to you guys and you guys be able to either get whatever track you want specific track that we're riding that day um but yeah definitely check it out man i really hope you guys tune in for all that you know that's something that i want to do to give back to the community i think out of all games you play you know for sure i think this is the cheapest game I have ever played. You know, Fortnite skins, <laughs> they're looking at like 20 bucks a skin, but you get on this game, you're looking at $2 a track for a track, and you know darn well you're gonna be spending more than two hours on the track, you know, if, especially if you really want it. So I think it pays for itself well over, and I don't mind giving five people a track, especially when they're only freaking $2 each. What am I, spending 10 bucks, bro? That's like you guys going to McDonald's, come on. Grabbing a happy meal. <laughs> You know, but hey, it's to, to each your own. I'm willing to do that. So definitely come out. Um, oh, no. All in all, I would say that I love this game. To be honest, I, I really do enjoy it. I, I enjoy it a lot. It's a challenge. I don't know a lot of people that like grindy games, but, you know, I can always get on here and know that, um, you know, I'm not always I'm not the best and I, I'm nowhere near being the best. And there's always something I can improve on. So uh yeah i love it to be honest with you like it's a fun game to to grind out on you know always see where your potential is every track has its own challenge and i love to be able to conquer it so or at least get close so yeah let's get to another track how about that riders once again riders your guys are looking at 200 hours 
of MX Bikes content, so I hope you're not looking for me to set down any hot crazy lap. I just wanted to show my progress on this game, show you what these JV tracks have been doing for me. Uh, I am also going to get into a race after this, just so you guys know kind of where we are. Um, probably just be a Papiti server, because, you know, that's the only thing that really be popping. I'm going to try to change that, though. I've been streaming and I've been I've been hosting these. Uh, I've been hosting these JV tracks, so hopefully you guys still stay tuned in. Um, what else to talk about, though? Oh, glad you guys freaking suggested that. Yes, um, my boy has MTR, MTN Austin has made me my own very own bike skin and gear skin. Links will be down in the description. Please go check it out. It is currently the bike I am racing right now. Um, yes, I might. I may be a nerd. I may sound like a nerd. I know a lot of people might not be into it, but if you guys do watch anime out there, I might have lost a lot of people in this chat right now. Like anime. Who are you? Anime? <laughs> Prank him, Johnny. Prank him. Nah, real talk, though. Anybody that's out there, man, this is what Berserk looks like. I don't know if you guys can see the egg of the king in the Berserk brand of sacrifice symbol but man do i love that show and i just wanted a i just wanted a nice bike skin representing that show so he got me able with the gear skin and the bike skin so shout out to mt and austin his link will be down in the description as well i appreciate him this has got to be my favorite oh my god the corona is kicking up on me boss this has got to be my favorite section of the map this is mxgp turkey you know, that crossback stuff, you just can't ask for a better life. Uh-oh. Yeah, you just can't ask for a better life, to be honest with you. Like, this game is absolutely phenomenal. The reshade on here, you know, MX Bike's bone looks hot diggity dog. I mean, hot buns, baby. But, you know, being able to put a reshade on this, I got this thing looking absolutely beautiful. And JV, man, he makes the tracks, boys. Like, look how beautiful it is out here. But yeah, I do enjoy my skins. That is something. Definitely check it out. Check out my streams, dude. But yeah, let's go see if we can find ourselves a Papiti server, man. Like and subscribe, man. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Ladies and gentlemen, they tagged us in. Let's get active. They called their number out, 317. It's time to go crazy, man. Here's our skin. We're going to absolutely fwag. Oh my god. So what I have gathered in my 200 hours, every Papiti race is basically Russian roulette. You're either going to get whole shot or you're going to get thrown through the pact. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Tell him, Johnny. Prank him. Get him, Johnny. Johnny, prank him. This is possible. Possible whole shot. If not. Case in point. Case in point, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, man. I've lately been enjoying um, all content. Um, I guess this is just like word of advice to any content creator out there for any game, I should say, even if even if you're not playing this game, um, don't be discouraged at all. Like when you're when you're busting out content and you're getting no views, dude, don't be discouraged as if that's that's like you sucking, I should say. That's not that's not any of your fault. Literally, you may think whatever you post is the funniest thing in the world and that should all matter you know that's that's the only thing that should matter you know like haters are gonna hate they hate us because they ain't us they peanut butter and mofo jealous Ooh. but you shouldn't be discouraged for anything that people want to do especially when they say that your content sucks and all that if you thought it was a banger it's a banger dude that's all that should matter you should be doing this because you think it's fun you know views subscribers likes it's all gonna come in time man i'm not saying oh my god i'm stuck in the man you hold the vibes i'm not saying i'm the i'm out here freaking carrying the team on my back or anything and i'm not even close to any of that but i should say that i've enjoyed the journey that i'm on right now playing mx bikes and the content you know and you got to really ask yourself are you is mx bikes playing you or are you playing mx bikes you know like is this the only game you can make for content or, you know, and it really all depends on like if you really love it. If you love the game, continue making content. That's exactly what I do. OK, then this is one on one of what Papiti servers can get into if you're not in first place or anywhere near there. But I have multiple games that I could be possibly playing. But I'd rather play this because this game is literally a fun grinding game. And at 200 hours, I cannot stop playing it. And this Honda 250 literally has to be it. I definitely recommend the Honda 250. 
the Husqvarna 250 and the Yamaha 250 or you're trying out this game for the first time or anywhere around here um, they're just great bikes in general man before you want to move up to the 450s like they have the most control Ooh, baby oh my goodness um, about the pro scene in this game if you're looking to become a pro in any so sorts I don't understand this is me my personal opinion everybody has an opinion just like an just like an a-hole man but I would say for the pro scene no one is throwing money down to, to race in the pro scene I should say so there's no reason to really get fully mad in the pro scene I should I, I personally this is my personal opinion you know if I'm not anywhere near to be good in the pro scene or even go there but no one is putting down any money to race in the pro scene so I don't think I don't think the way people get extremely mad of like any of these content creators or these track creators I should say going absolutely crazy um, for instance TFC they've been giving him a lot of hate hey supply and demand baby you don't see nobody else out there putting in the work at least trying you know what I mean to give out track content you know you got maybe a handful of people that do it but hey his ticket was called he got active and he gave it a shot he gave it his best you know just the way the community reacts i definitely don't think they're the best tracks but not the worst tracks and i think they're a different type of roughness roughness i think those tracks when you see the new oem bikes get pulled out when they do those updates oh dude those track work those tracks work wonder like, I have not seen not one person play that track with the new OEM update, like any TFC track, and fall c tremendously how you should be falling with the current update, I should say. But, yeah, I mean, that's my two cents, honestly. At the end of the day, like, I think his TF like, TFC tracks are actually for the next update. I can only imagine, like, after the season or whenever they come up, release that update. Oh, my God. Should have paid paying attention. I can actually get a podium here, and I'm actually playing. But... Yeah, I think when the new update comes out and people re-race the TFC tracks, you're going to realize that it was just game physics and not, you know, not the tracks. But hey, by all means, we'll, we'll move on to it. I do appreciate you guys, guys, if you have stuck this, like stuck this, I'm having a seizure. But if you stuck this long inside the video, please drop a like and subscribe for your boy. I appreciate it. Your boy's trying to grab a podium real quick. I don't know if that was the last lap or not. Oh, no, this is last lap. I can definitely grab these two people. So let's focus up. Let's see if IBS Kelso can drop the back. Oh, my God. Almost a front tuck. We'll drop it down the second. Also, if you're looking at my controller overlay and you're realizing, like, how am I pressing triangle and X and all that? I am using a scuff controller at the moment. So I do have paddles on the back. Um, the only thing is I had to turn on traction um, help to race. Or I guess I'm probably going to keep it on for as long as I use this controller, but I have the hair triggers. So it's either I'm basically clicking as a mouse or I'm click like it's either all or none. So um, to each their own. That's how I play this game. I could possibly be way faster if I was using throttle control, but that's the best you're going to get. I want to use the paddles. I feel like I don't want to take my. I feel like I <laughs> podiums out of sight. Come on. I feel like podiums out of sight for sure, but you know, to each your own. I just don't want to take my hands off the analog sticks when I'm trying to lean and all that, especially trying to shift as well, because engine braking is a huge thing. So, Ugh. ladies and gentlemen, I could have had a great podium right then and there, and I went over the fence. <laughs> it's literally on me. But I hopefully you guys got the gist of what 200 hours looks like in MX bikes, and just see my progress in the game. I do appreciate all of you out there. Once again, I just got to throw it out for clout, dude. Shout out to my boy MTN Austin for making this skin, dude. Once again, a Berserk theme Honda 250, right? We're in there like swimwear, baby. Go to MX Bikes Mods, download the thing. Other than that, I have nothing else for you. Until the next time, it's your boy IBS Kelso. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>